It is now my great pleasure to call upon Peter J. Deveren for our commencement address. Mr. Deveren is the President and Chief Executive Officer of Turner Construction and one of our most outstanding alumni. Thank you. I am truly honored to be here with you today as we recognize the graduates gathered here today. Class of 2015, you have my heartfelt congratulations. This is your day. This ceremony marks the culmination of your years of hard work. But as you know, it's just the beginning of another stage of your life. As you prepare to move on, you know absolutely that the world has changed since you were welcomed into Wentworth as the class of 2015. I urge you to embrace these changes and the changes that lie ahead. For one thing is certain, the world and the markets in which you will work will continue to change. And you have a choice. You can, you can ignore change going forward and become irrelevant. Or you can accept change and adopt to a changing environment. Or third, and I would say the best option, you can help direct changes around you for the betterment of your career and the world around you. I can tell you for myself, when I joined my company, Turner, more than a few years ago, it took, a lot, it took some time to see exactly how I was going to fit in and potentially make a difference. I had moved to Boston, and I was sleeping on a friend's couch. I had a piece of paper that said I was a civil engineer, and I was assigned to work on a construction project at the Brigham and Women's Hospital. I was working with a team who had years and years of experience organizing, planning, and constructing buildings. They expected me to contribute to the success of that effort. I had all the energy and the enthusiasm of youth and the, and the new opportunities that would bring. And then one morning, it hit me straight in the face. I was afraid, I didn't know what I was doing, and I thought my colleagues would find out and I would get fired. I said to myself, I can't do this. Everyone else on the project seemed to know exactly what they were doing. And for me, every day was a learning experience. I had to make a decision. I could go in and tell them that I had made a the bad decision and go home. Or I could continue to show up, learn from my colleagues, and share with them the contributions I could make to the team. I chose to stay. I was like a sponge. I soaked up all that I could. There was so much to learn, and I began to realize that there was a lot that I could offer. At every step of your career, there will be challenges that seem insurmountable. And as you are given new responsibilities and opportunities, you will find that you will grow into the position. And then things will change again. But once things, once one of the things you've learned here is that change is not only in, in, in inevitable, it's good. Your achievements in getting to this point in your life are proof that you have developed the ability to adapt, move forward, reevaluate, and adapt again. And yes, absolutely, the world is changing, the environment is changing, and the needs of communities and cities and nations are changing. And with those changes, business conditions change. Just, just think of what happened, has happened in your life. Perhaps you, perhaps you or your parents remember buying videotapes of Disney movies when you were young. This is how everybody watched uh, movies when, when we were all young. You bought a videotape, you sat at home, and you watched them, and then they collected them into the cabinet in the living room. Then along came Blockbuster. They said, why should you have to buy a movie? You're probably only going to watch it once or twice. They, they formed an entire industry around renting a movie and overtook the concept of buying a tape. If you think back, you may remember going out on a Friday night and renting tapes for the weekend. Then Netflix came along and said, why should you have to go to a store to pick out your, your rental? Why can't you do it from home in the comfort of your own home? They created a system where you could pick out your movie online and it gets sent to your home. They put Blockbuster out of business and changed the industry. And then Netflix re-innovated re themselves. Today, videotapes and DVDs are obsolete. 
and the majority of America streams videos online and watches them as they are today. During much of my construction career, industry practices remained largely the same. It, it was an industry reluctant to change, but ripe for change. More recently, I have seen more dramatic changes. Much of the innovation and change we have seen in the construction industry has been driven by the younger generation of people who are not tied to the practices of the past. They say there has to be a better way to do things. Their interest in the environment and, the in and sustainability has helped drive the growth of green buildings. They have driven the development and the use of technology tools such as building information modeling. This is enabling an increase in the use of prefabricated building components which is resulting in increased quality and enabling work to be completed easier and safer. We are also seeing the increased use of electronic plan tools and mobility tools that are bringing information to people wherever they are. Bottom line, companies and industries must constantly transform themselves in order to stay relevant. And change for the established companies is often hard. We have seen many examples of successful companies and even entire industries. They have failed to adapt to change. They have done nothing. They have done things the same way they have for decades. And many people they, that work there would prefer to keep it that way. But given this environment today, the companies that you will work for are in need of people and leaders who embrace change. And that is where you come in. Innovation and change rely heavily on the idea generation, particularly from people closest to the activity. For example, the factory floor, the construction site. Leaders cannot sit in an office and demand innovation without grassroots engagement and driving innovation and change. As you've moved through your studies here at Wentworth, you've built technical skills and problem-solving skills and you demonstrated resourcefulness, creativity, and passion. You've also strengthened your communi communication and collaborative skills. And today, collaboration is happening up, down, and across organizations, almost as if the organization chart doesn't exist. In this more open and collaborative environment, a leader is recognized by their contributions, not their title. Real leaders demonstrate passion and energy for the work to be done. And if something goes wrong, and they will go wrong from time to time, they will take it as an opportunity to learn. My point is that while you may have a very good sense of your direction, the horizon line will continue to shift. You must continue to listen, learn, and build upon the skills you have. It is up to you now to take the knowledge you've gained the skills you've developed, and the relationships that you have built, and make a positive difference in your chosen career path. I, en I encourage you to get involved with the tackling of big problems. Take all the skills, interests, and hopes you have and address these big issues. You do not need to set out to accomplish them immediately, but you should set yourself on a course to make progress towards the big goal. Take on the complicated issues you are taught to take on to these challenges. In addition, take ownership of your own path while, others, while helping others on theirs. The more you can do to develop yourself as a person and support others around you, the more opportunities there will be for your advancement. You have high expectations for yourself. That is why you are here today. It is our turn to expect more from you, and we do, and we refuse to apologize for wanting more from you. So ask yourself, will you be comfortable simply embracing the things, they, the things that, as they are? Or in this dynamic environment, will you work to make change happen? I would like to take a moment to thank the many family members friends who have come together to share the day with you and share in your joy. I would also like to thank the faculty, staff, counselors, coaches, advisors, and everyone at Wentworth 
who have contributed to your success. We have all come together to recognize your achievements and wish you well as you transition to the next stage of your life. I think I can speak for everyone gathered here today. We cannot wait to see what you accomplish as you utilize all the skills you have learned at Wentworth. Thank you and congratulations once again, you, the class of 2015. Mr. Deveren, thank you so much for this very inspiring speech and to recognize your participation in our commencement. I would like to award you with the distinguished uh, medallion. Will Chairman Anthony please come to the podium to present our honored guest. Madam President, I have the honor to present Peter J. Daverin for Wentworth's honorary degree. Peter J. Deveren, today Wentworth Institute of Technology honors you for your success in the construction industry, your commitment to sustainability and diversity, and your leadership in science, technology, engineering, and math. A 1976 graduate Wentworth Civil Construction Technology Program, you went on to build a successful career in construction management. After joining Turner Construction in 1978, you rose through the ranks to become Vice President in 1995, Senior Vice President in 2000, President in 2003, and Chief Executive Officer in 2007. At Turner, you have worked to address key challenges facing the construction industry, including developing people, environmental impact, and diversity. Under your leadership, Turner has expanded North American operations and increased its presence in Europe and Asia. Turner is known as a leader in the delivery of green building projects and has been recognized as a top diversity employer. You have been named the top 100 CEO leader in STEM and understand the importance of fostering interest in science, technology, engineering, and math among our young people. You're also active in the, ACE, in the ACE Mentor Program, which works with high school students to inspire them to pursue careers in architecture, construction, and engineering. We are very proud that you are our alumnus. So, Peter J. Deverin, for your success, and leadership in the construction industry, your commitment to diversity and sustainability, and your dedication to educating and mentoring young people, Wentworth is proud to honor you with the degree of Doctor of Engineering Technology, Honoris Causa.